Hey there, here's a quick video to talk about the advantages of animating the UVs on a mesh when you're trying to get uh, an animation on screen using a texture sheet or a texture atlas. So animating the UVs instead of the texture offset has some benefits. So just to cover what we're actually doing is here on screen I've got basically six rectangles where I've applied the full texture which is the texture atlas that contains basically 64 frames of this animation. Now typically when you have a mesh and you're mapping a texture on it it's looking at the texture coordinates and the, the UV coordinates and mapping the texture on it and usually it uses the entire texture space but in this case what we're doing is we're telling we're changing the mesh the UVs to tell it to only draw like certain portions of it. Now the advantage of doing that is if I hit play is if you were to use a standard texture offset and just animate that you would end up having for each of those that would be going if they're all synchronized then you could have a thousand and they're all using the same shared material and you would get one draw call but if you needed to have them all go at different intervals then you would end up creating instances of the material for each of those going and you would inherit a draw call that goes along with it. When you're using this technique which is animating the UVs um, the texture is still the same for all of them so I'm still using shared material uh, on the same thing I'm just changing the mesh in terms of the UV coordinates that the mesh is basically mapping the texture on the advantages of that as I said is if you look at the scene we have three draw calls which is one is the ground the second one is these three cubes which share the same material they're light mapped right now and the third one is these six things going at different intervals now the other beauty of using this technique is because we're using a primitive rectangle which has two triangles they're actually dynamically getting batched so performance wise it's really good flexibility you can have all these things animated at different intervals um, at different intervals different frame rates um, and it's really nice when you look at texture offset in both cases you're actually having to update the texture offset or the UVs every frame or if you use it inside of a core routine at a certain interval so performance of doing the two things are about equal but in this case you're winning because of the draw call stuff that it's a lot less draw call intensive as a matter of fact you only get one so hopefully this video made sense um, if you have any questions just post them on the channel thanks